Hi guys, it's Laree, and this is the long-awaited Brother LX3817 versus Baby Lock Zest video. Hi guys, my name is Laree, and I'm the owner of So Into It, and welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. For those of you who have been following my videos and those of you who are subscribed, if you are wondering where on earth has this video been, Laree? Well, here's a quick update. This fall, I started grad school. And then uh, there was the issue of upgrading some technology, which threw off my schedule quite a bit. But I'm glad to be here now, and I'm glad to be recording, and I'm so glad to be bringing this video to you. So if you're here and you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. We are gonna take a look at these two sewing machines, and we're gonna determine which one is the best sewing machine for beginners for 2020. So I'm gonna compare these two sewing machines in four different categories. First category is features, next is maintenance, then performance, and then ease of use. All right, we're starting with features of the sewing machine, okay? First thing that I love about the Brother is that it has an extra bright display light here. It may not seem like much, but it really does help. Next. This machine has a cutter on the side of it, whereas the Baby Lock Zest does not. If you're like me and you forget your nippers all of the time, then you have to get up from where you are, you have to go find them, bring them back, or if you get up and go to the ironing board or whatever, you just have to make sure you always have those nippers on you. Next, um, one thing that I was very excited about with this Baby Lock sewing machine was that it had a double double spools for uh, double needle stitching, which is awesome. This one doesn't, and if you do any top stitching, use a double needle, um, you know, you gotta figure things out. And this just makes things really easy. It makes keeps the threads all together. It keeps everything nice and um, organized for me as I'm doing that double stitching. The next feature about these two sewing machines is that the Brother LX3817 has a high shank adjustment. So the foot, here it is, it raises to two different um, heights. So you have the down position here. I can lift it up and I can lift it up even higher. The Baby Lock Zest does not have that option. It doesn't raise any higher than this. Now, this is really important if you sew bulky items. If you're gonna sew anything um, that has multiple layers. Um, I found myself kind of struggling with this machine um, with trying to fit certain pieces of fabric under it. And having this extra high adjustment makes that so much easier. Okay, so let's not settle in that this is the best sewing machine yet, okay? Um, this machine, it has a stitch dial with all the stitches in one. However, it does not have specific stretch stitches. This machine, on the other hand, you're gonna see all of the same stitches that this machine has, but all of these green ones along the bottom, these are specifically stretch stitches for stretchy materials, for your knits or for your Lycra materials, whatever it is, and the difference between the two is it's a huge difference. The stitch just settles into the knit fabric so nicely. And then you have that elastic, um, you have that give that comes along with actually having a stretch stitch, which is why we get the serger sewing machine, right? So we can pull on our knit makes without all the threads popping and breaking and all of that because they just weren't, um, they weren't set to stretch with us as we put on the clothing. So that is one of the things that um, I really love. When it comes to these two machines, which features can you kind of live without or deal with? Or which features are deal breakers for you? Let me know in the comments below. Another feature that needs to be mentioned here is that this Brother LX3817 has a drop in bobbin, whereas the Baby Lock Zest has 
a front loading bobbin. So this machine has a special feature. It has a quick set bobbin and it works like this. I'm gonna put my bobbin inside and I'm gonna go ahead and thread the bobbin, but then I'm gonna cut it off right here at the razor. I'm gonna close that and then when I take my fabric, I can just begin to sew and you'll see what happens. The upper thread and the bottom thread come together. You'll see this little action happening here, but that's just the bobbin being caught. Now I could use my nippers or I could use the cutter that's on the side. Quick set bobbin. All right, moving on to the next category, let's talk about maintenance. There's not a whole lot to talk about here, but there are a few things that are worth pointing out. So first of all, you can Rest easy because this sewing machine's manual says to not oil it, do not oil it. And it actually doesn't have too many things about maintenance in it, um, but one of the things that you do wanna stay on top of is cleaning out the bobbin area, making sure that there isn't a buildup of lint. If you've done a huge project, you've sewn a quilt, maybe it's been about six months, do check that lint area to make sure that you're sewing machine is performing the way it should. So unlike the Brother LX3817, the Baby Lock Zest Manual does tell you to oil the machine whenever you feel it's necessary. Or oil it if you know you're not going to be using it for a while. Maybe you were only pulling your sewing machine out to do a special project or to do something really quick and you really don't use it that often. So the instructions are to clean the machine thoroughly, oil it well, and then put it back on the shelf. So when you take it off of the shelf, it's important to run the sewing machine on a test piece of fabric um, to let all of that oil run through. But the on to the next category, let's talk about performance. One of the things that really started to bother me, it does bother me about this sewing machine, is that the dog feet along the bottom pull my fabric through. Um, at a much faster rate than the machine sews. I'm gonna show you what I mean here. So I have two pieces of fabric and they're even on top and they're even on the bottom. However, by the time I've sewn these two pieces, as you can see, it's slight but that adds up the longer the piece of fabric is. You can see that this bottom, it was down like this. This bottom is now uh, about a 16th of an inch longer than the top was. So that's something to keep in mind. This machine does not feed the fabric through evenly. So that is something to know about this machine. The feed dogs feed at, um, rate that's gonna make your two pieces of fabric uneven once you get to the bottom. This machine, on the other hand, Baby Lock Zest, I have not had that issue yet with um, the feed dogs pulling my fabric too quickly. But it's very smooth, the, the way it sews and the way the feed dogs come along, it's all very smooth and I'm really happy with that. Okay, another thing that I found in my experience with sewing with this sewing machine for about two years now, yeah, two years. I got it in November 2018 um, and sewing for, with this one for a few months. And you tell me, if you have this sewing machine, is this your experience? The stitches come out very wobbly. If, if you can see what I'm doing right here. Um, the presser feet are not very secure. There's a bit of, uh, quite a bit more wobble that happens with this. And maybe that is the reason, but my stitches tend to come out wobbly as well, um, like this presser foot. Um, and it's, it's hard to control 
sometimes and I learned to kind of just accept it that my stitches aren't always going to be as straight. Now, if you are sewing stitches and you find that you cannot keep the seam allowance straight and you're like sewing across your fabric, that is a different situation. And I do have other videos that can help you sew straight seams. You might want to check them out somewhere up around here. Okay, let's go on to the next category. Last category is ease of use. So you're probably wondering, okay, 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 great. Which one is complicated? I don't want a complicated machine. This one has more gears and knobs. Which one is easiest to use? Just tell me that much. All right, I'm gonna break that down for you now. So on this machine, you can see that the face of it, it's pretty clean. There's not a whole lot of things going on. All of the stitches are inside of this dial. So all the stitch lengths, there's only a handful to choose from. This is the Brother LX3817 because it has 17 stitches, okay? So they're all in one. If you want to change and choose a different stitch, you just pay attention to this little notch right here and you align it to whatever it is that you wanna use. Here on the other hand, there are a few more things that you can choose yourself a few more things that you can adjust so for one your stitch selector is over here um, your stitch options are over here on this side and you look at these letters and you choose the correct letter for the stitch that you want here on this side then you can choose how wide you want that stitch to be so for you this could be that the machine is more complicated or that you have more control to do what you want to do in your sewing. For this machine, if you use the manual and you follow it, you'll find that it won't be hard to correct, to select the correct stitch and get your stitches set just right. So there it is guys. This is the 2020 Brother LX3817 versus Baby Lock Zest. I wanna hear from you. Who has your vote? Which one do you think is the best sewing machine for beginners for 2020? Leave it down in the comments below. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This has been um, an interesting year, but I'm so glad for all of you. I'm so glad for all of you who found this channel, who found sewing through 2020, who picked up your sewing machine again. And I am so glad that I've been able to help or assist and guide you in any way through your process of being creative or feeling a need or doing what was needed to be done this year. You all are amazing. This year, this channel grew past 1,000 subscribers. It wasn't even on my radar to do this year, but we grew past 1,000 subscribers. My channel became monetized, and I thank you all for watching. Um, I'll have another video to let you guys know some plans and different things that I have coming up for 2021, but I just wanna let you know in this video right here in this moment how much I appreciate you. And if you are watching and you're not yet subscribed, please consider joining the Sew Crew and hanging out with us here. All right, guys. We are at the end of 2020 and right in the middle of the holiday season. Whenever you're watching, it might be right before Christmas or right after. And I love the scripture that talks about good and perfect gifts. It says that every gift God freely gives us is good and perfect, streaming down from the Father of lights, who shines from the heavens with no hidden shadow or darkness and is never subject to change. Before we go, I wanna leave you with this question. What gift do you need the most this year? Whatever you need the most this year, I just wanna encourage you to just find a quiet place, maybe close your eyes and just ask. Why? Because every good and perfect gift comes from above. All right, everyone, enjoy this holiday season and I will see you in the next video. Bye.